All right, at the beginning of this workshop, we identified three key Rogue messages. What were they? Yeah, it's all about the family. Rogue is designed specifically for the entire comfort and safety of the entire family. Rogue is high tech. It has significant technology improvements, especially in the areas of safety, and Rogue is more premium than ever. From its athletic exterior styling, to its premium interior, to the way it drives, everything about this Rogue is enhanced. So with those messages in mind, let's take a closer look at Rogue's platinum, premium interior, and advanced technology. So go ahead and turn to page nine of your workbook, if you would. So as we've seen, a push button rear door request switch has been added to each rear door handle on the SV, SL, and Platinum models. Like the front door request switch is one push, unlocks only that door. A double push unlocks all four doors and the tailgate. And like the front door request switches, the Nissan Intelligent key must be in range. So what's the customer benefit of that? Of course, you can unlock a rear door or lift gate without having to use the front door or push the key fob twice or set down cargo or small uh, chill and just unlock and open that door. So again, to make it even easier to access the rear seat, 2021 Rogue's rear door opening is about an inch taller and the doors open wider, a full 85 degrees. As you can see, it's much taller here. Okay, and again, it opens much easier. So this is gonna allow, you know, adults standing up to put, you know, their children in here, car seats, cargo, whatever it may be. And also you might have noticed, or you, maybe you haven't, but there's a nice little indentation here, which kind of fits my booty perfectly. So I can go ahead and put stuff in here. Uh, makes it a lot easier, okay? Um, all right, so manual sunshades are built right into the rear doors. These are really cool. They're standard on the SL and Platinum, and they're optional on the SV. I really love these. It's such a nice touch to this vehicle. None of Rogue's uh, competitors offer this family-friendly feature. This is a Rogue exclusive. All right, another family-friendly touch is Rogue's rear design rear seat. Okay, 60-40 split fold down and reclining rear seat backs replace the 40-20-40 split bench seat. So what's the customer advantage of the new configuration? Of course, seat backs fold forward to provide additional storage space, okay? And they recline back to provide even more comfort. SL and Platinum models add remote fold down seat backs operated by levers in the cargo area. And Rogue Platinum adds heated outboard rear seats. And every Rogue now has five latch anchors. Okay, so that means you can see two adults in the rear with one child or one adult and two child seats. In addition, the 2020 Rogue receives a rear seat belt reminder, just like the 2020 Sentra and the 2020 Titan. Remember how that works? So when the ignition is turned on, a rear seat belt reminder light appears in the vehicle information display for about 35 seconds, indicating which rear seat belts are buckled or unbuckled. And if any of the rear seat belts are then unbuckled here in the back, a warning chime will sound and the display will again indicate the status of the rear seat belts. So continuing the family focused theme that we have going on here, all 2021 Rogue models have standard rear door alert, okay? So basically how rear door alert works, if I, co I come up to my vehicle and I open this rear door and I put something of value in there, be it a laptop, be it groceries, whatever the case, I close the door and I start the car within 20 sec 10 seconds and drive away, it's going to, when I get to where I'm going, and if I don't open that rear door, it's gonna alert me with uh, honking the horn six, three times and then three more uh, for a total of six. So saying, hey, you forgot something in the rear door. All right, so for more family comfort, uh, the Rogue SL and Platinum have class exclusive tri-zone climate controls. You can see them right down in here, okay? Separate controls allow the driver, front passenger, and rear seat passengers to establish their own temperature settings. So what other Nissan models offer tri-zone climate controls? That would, it would be the, uh, the Pathfinder and also the Armada. All right, so turn to page 10 of your workbook. Rogue features premium interior styling cues, including the quilted stitching for the semi-aniline leather appointed seats on the Rogue Platinum, two-tone trim, and this 
spin horizontal instrument panel really help to create a sense of premium spaciousness. And there's two new interior colors, tan and gray. And these seats I'm sitting on, these are the Nissan Signature Zero Gravity seats. All Rogue models have them in front and in the outboard rear seating positions. Of course, what is the customer benefit for that? The design really helps reduce fatigue when you're driving long distances. None of Rogue's primary competitors offer zero gravity design seats. On SV, SL, and Platinum, the driver's seat is a 10-way power adjustable, including two-way power adjustable lumbar support, which is nice. Earlier, I told you that the Rogue Platinum has a front central seat mounted airbag, and it's actually right in here on the inside of the driver's seat bag. I also mentioned earlier that Rogue's next generation Xtronic CVT features shifts by wire. The new electronic shifter provides a smooth, precise, high-tech feel. It also has a more stylish appearance than conventional cable shifters. Also notice that doing away with the shift cable allows for additional storage space underneath the center console, which is really nice. This opens wide open here. You've got a lot of room to put whatever you'd like in there. All models include this manual shift mode up top with new paddle shifters. Of course, what's the benefit of paddle shifters? It allows you to shift gears without removing your hands from the steering wheel. And here is the electronic parking brake with the automatic brake hold. This is standard on all Rogue trim levels. The design is easier, it's much more intuitive to use than a mechanical hand or foot parking brake. And the driver can choose to disable the uh, automatic brake hold function also. And uh, here is the all-wheel drive mode selector. So the current mode is displayed in the digital dashboard up here or the advanced drive assist display. Front-wheel drive models have a three-way push toggle switch for standard, eco, and sport. All-wheel drive models, like the one we're in, have a five-position dial. And as you can see here, the standard mode is for normal driving, and that's identified with a highway icon. The eco mode, provides you know enhanced fuel efficiency and that's with the little uh and i'll turn that over here that's with the the little leaf there sport mode much more aggressive driving and there's a checkered flag icon for that all-wheel drive models there's a snow mode controls power output and engine characteristics for driving on slippery surfaces and of course that's identified with a snowflake icon also on all-wheel drive models off-road mo mode makes it easier to start and drive on e uneven dirt roads steep uphill slopes or even through sand and that's identified with that mountain icon uh, let's talk about the wireless charging pad that you can see right up here uh, the rogue platinum features a wireless charging pad this lets iphone or android users charge their compatible mobile device without having to connect to a cable even though i am connected to a cable that you could charge it wirelessly uh, this butter, the butterfly style design center, the center console that allows both front and rear occupants to easily retrieve items from the storage to compartment itself. So that's pretty cool. And you can close one end or both ends. And I think you're really going to like the three display driver information system on the Rogue Platinum. The first one is a customizable 10.8 inch heads up display that's standard on the Platinum. And you'll be able to see that you can see the cutout right up there, but you would it would be heads up right on the windshield, and it, that's really cool. And while it's not a class exclusive feature, this is the largest heads up display in Rogue's class, so that is a competitive advantage. When the vehicle's parked, drivers can select what is shown in that display by using this 12.3 inch digital dashboard, which is also standard on the Platinum. A seven inch advanced drive assist display would be standard on the S, SV, and the SL. So a little bit smaller, but here on the Platinum, we have a 12.3 inch display. And the third display is this nine inch color high definition touchscreen right here in the middle. That's standard on the Platinum. This is also available on the SL. Again, everybody has a center display screen, but Rogue's available nine inch center display is the largest available in its class. Rogue S, SV, and SL without the premium package, you would have an eight inch color touchscreen center display that is not high definition. The intelligent around view monitor is not new to Rogue, but it's a class exclusive feature that's standard on the SV, SL, and Platinum. While others may have around view cameras, Rogue has the only intelligent system with moving object detection. If I hit that camera button there, you can see it come up right there. And there's uh, your predicted lines there. And, and it would 
so if people were walking around there, you would get uh, warnings there. So that's the uh, moving object detection. On Platinum and SL with premium package, you got a higher quality camera, so you can see really crisp and clear. Uh, that combines with the high definition to give you those images. All 2021 Rogue models have standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You might think this has become an industry standard, but several uh, primary competitors only offer Apple CarPlay on upper trim levels. And I can go ahead and hit this uh, right here. And there's my, I got the Android Auto hooked up right now. As you can see the screen. And this would also be wireless if you wanted to. And there we go. So you got a nice map up there. So giving Rogue even more of a competitive advantage for the first time ever, Nissan will offer wireless Apple CarPlay integration. It's yet another class exclusive technology and it's standard on a Platinum and available on an SL. So wireless means no more USB cable connection like I have here required, but you still get all the same capabilities. And notice that this feature, I do wanna let you know it is marked late availability, which means it will be available sometime after the start of production. All right, so let's talk about ProPilot Assist. Uh, as you learned earlier, ProPilot Assist was introduced on Rogue about two years ago. Now there are two versions. Basic ProPilot Assist is standard on the SV and the SL. And the enhanced ProPilot Assist with NaviLink is standard on Platinum and optional on SL. So when you're using ProPilot Assist, the 2021 Rogue's new steering design results in fewer steering corrections and more precise lane centering. The demonstration drive for both systems would be similar, but you do need to point out the NaviLink enhancements during the drive. So on page 11 of your workbook, you want to flip over there, that lists the 10 steps for demonstrating ProPilot Assist. I'm not going to review them right now, but you should already know them and have used them in the past. After class, if you have any questions you want to ask me about it, feel free to ask me and I'll spend some time with you if you'd like. Uh, they're, they're based on the ProPilot Assist Job 8 available on Virtual Academy. Uh, and at the bottom of that page are descriptions of the NaviLink enhancements. The graphic on workbook page 12 summarizes the enhancements. So through software updates and interface with built-in navigation, ProPod Assist with NaviLink is going to offer a variety of new functions, including speed adjustment based on navigation route, such as approaching junctions, exit ramps, curves, slowed traffic, etc. And this is really nice, extended auto restart timing from three seconds all the way up to 30. It used to be when you hit the brake and stop, it would hold it for three seconds and then it would start moving again. Now it's been extended to 30 seconds, which is awesome. Also, you got manual or automatic speed limit assist using traffic sign recognition. And really the only way to demonstrate these functions is on a limited access freeway. That is, you know, a roadway with entrance and exit ramps rather than cross streets. Your demonstration route, remember, must also have clear lane markings and you should feature curves, junctions, light traffic, and speed limit signs. All right, let's uh, head out of here and we'll go up to the uh, outside of the vehicle and we'll talk a little bit uh, about Nissan Connect and uh, the Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. All right, let's, so let's talk about Nissan Connect services and the Wi-Fi hotspot. Like the 2020 Titan, the 2021 Rogue has new features, trial periods, and subscription packaging for the available Nissan Connect services powered by Sirius XM and adds an available Nissan Connect with Wi-Fi hotspot. So let's take a closer look at each one. So if you wouldn't mind turning to page 13 of your workbook, Nissan Connect services is standard on the SV, SL, and the Platinum trim levels. So how would you describe Nissan Connect services to a customer? I would describe it as it provides safety, security, and convenient services. And how can a customer access these services? They would access them through the, they could interact with the vehicle touchscreen display, my Nissan owner portal, or the smartphone app. Certain functions are also available through the companion apps for Apple Watch, the Wear OS by Google, Amazon Alexa, and the Google Assistant. And how do you enroll a customer in Nissan Connect services? I'm sure you all remember using your NCAR 2.0 during delivery feature presentation step of the new vehicle delivery. Now remember, this is important that the email and password established here will be the same credentials used to log into their Nissan Connect services smartphone app and the Nissan owner portal. So that's very important. The new services packaging is shown in the chart in your workbook. And I wanna note that the new services are shown 
in bold print on those pages. And there are uh, certain features that function only on built-in navigation equipped vehicles uh, with the Platinum and the optional on the SL. And in your workbook, I would suggest that you highlight Navi-only functions, be it like you'll see in your book, Destinations by Google, Street View, Satellite View, Destination Download, Journey Planner, Connected Search, Map Care, uh, Premium Traffic, and TomTom Tom Weather. Again, those services are only available with a navigation system. The new services are described starting on pages 14 and 15 of your workbook. Uh, and again, anything in bold is new for model year 21 on the road. All right, any questions about Nissan Connect services at all? Okay. All right, so turn to page 16 of your workbook if you would. There's a built-in Nissan Connect with Wi-Fi hotspot in the Rogue SV, SL, and Platinum. The hotspot is going to be able to connect up to seven devices at a time. And like the 2020 Titan, the 2021 Rogue has some changes to the trial period and data plans for the Wi-Fi hotspot. So after the vehicle sale, new Rogue owners will get an email directly from AT&T inviting them to start their free trial of the Wi-Fi hotspot. To activate their free trial, owners must do either, uh, they can use the link in the email, visit the My Nissan Owner portal, start the process by connecting a Wi-Fi enabled device to the vehicle, or just visit att.com forward slash Nissan. Of course, they must accept AT&T's terms and conditions to begin the free trial. The free trial is gonna last for 30 days or until one gigabyte of data is used, whichever comes first. Uh, after the free trial, AT&T will invite customers to purchase an ongoing data plan. Uh, subscriptions are available in the US, Canada, and Mexico, but you can only use data in the country where you bought the plan. All right, so any questions about Nissan Connect services or the Wi-Fi hotspot? No? Okay, so we covered a lot of ground today. So let's do this. Let's head up back to the training room and we're gonna do a quick review and then we're gonna do some discovery activities on the vehicle. All right, let's head up there.